In this video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest defenses that you can use to slow down the meta offenses in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day right here on the YouTube channel. Now, like I said, in this video, we're going to be covering um, really just a great base defense that you can use um, against popular routes like the bu the gun bunch meta offense and this is one of my favorite um, just I wanted to go over kind of some zone drops that I really like to utilize um, specifically against the gun bunch so that being said we're going to put the safety nickel back package on in our nickel 335 normal and then we're going to go ahead and set a couple of audibles in our nickel 335 wide we're going to set the the Mike Blitz three, the cover four show two, and then the play that we're actually gonna be going over today is we're gonna be going over the Tampa two. So we're gonna set that as an audible as well. And then our coaching adjustments, we're gonna put our flats on 30 yards, we're gonna put our curl flats on five, and we're gonna put our hook curls on default, okay? And then whenever I'm defending a compression set like gun bunch or gun bunch tight end or gun tight offset, I like to base align my coverage. So I'm gonna set my auto alignment to base align. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out in the nickel 335 so that we can get the best coverage uh, possible. Real quick, make sure that you have uh, make sure that you have subbed in, you know, linebackers at the defensive end positions, and then make sure that you have safeties across your board. Uh, so the reason why we do this is because safeties will make uh, will play much better in pass coverage than linebackers will. They're gonna jump, they're gonna, they're gonna react to the ball if the ball is thrown in their area. Okay, so that's what I like to do. So we're coming out in cover four drop, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna audible down into Tampa two. Now, what we're gonna do here, just for sake of the video, is we're gonna go ahead and show flip. So if they flip, all you gotta do is flip as well. And then the setup for this is honestly, it, it seems like a lot, but it's really not. We're going to put the slot, uh, the, the, the slot corner into an, a middle third. You can only do that if you base a line. So I'm, I like to put him in a middle third. And then we're gonna put both of our linebackers into curl flat zones, just like this right here. We're gonna use her over the middle with Banjo here. And then the last step is to put both of our slip safeties in outside third zone. This is gonna help kind of prevent anything from like the gun bunch verticals or anything like that of getting over the top. And what you're gonna see is this coverage is honestly very effective. It's a great little Mabel coverage. It allows you a lot of freedom in the middle of the field to you know deter them from throwing certain things. Now, um, the next little concept here that I wanna go over from this coverage is, again, here's your setup. It's it's really not, you see right here, I mean, you, you're pretty well set up very, relatively quickly as long as you kinda of get the adjustments down. Now, what you can also do with this is you can actually run um, some different concepts here with your defensive tackle. You could put him on a bluff blitz or a three rec, and that's just gonna help kind of over the middle, and then I would just blitz your user. So you're only gonna blitz two, uh, but what I like about this setup is this does a really good job against like the verticals money routes that everybody likes to run because you see that three rec will just sit over the middle. Obviously we have the crosser, we have everything bagged. Um, the biggest the biggest reason why this, this concept um, is so good is because it does a really good job at taking away the major big things that the bunch can bring to the table. For example, it takes away the corner routes, it takes away the crossing routes, it takes away um, the, it takes away the verticals wheel routes, right? You're gonna be able to take all of that away. And then the beauty of this is you're going to force them to have to you know check down but you see here these corner routes and things like that they're really not a possibility from the gun bunch and so that's why i like this defense i think it's super effective now real quick if you wanted to save yourself from having to audible um and you are maybe somebody that has uh linebackers that have lurker or something then i wanted to give you just a quick uh way to do this out of the the same coverage if you don't have like if you don't have the 335 normal in your playbook. Some of you guys are running my 335 odd defense um, as well. And you can actually mesh this with 335 wide. All we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, in the packages, we're gonna put the FS1 inside package on. And what you're gonna see here, in, and I'm just gonna kind of reset these zone drops. 
But what you're going to see is we're going to get those same adjustments. With that FS1 inside you see here, we can do this. And now we can set this up, I mean, relatively quickly. I mean, we're pretty much set up right now. And, um, I mean, look at, I mean, just super, super quick uh, setup. Right here, my safety is being a little wonky. I don't know why. The play art's being a little weird. Um, let me make sure he's in the right zone. There we go. Okay. So, there's your coverage setup. And as you see, for... For anything like whether it be bunch or bunch tied in this is a very solid base coverage um, because it forces them to have to you know take the underneath routes and really it allows you a significant amount of freedom in terms of your ability to use her over the middle of the field so this is just one of my favorite defenses right now i think it really does help a lot um one little pro tip if you wanted to unbase the line and press like once you set up your adjustments you certainly can it'll put that slot in a little bit better of a position over the middle of the field um, but you'll see if they try to throw a crossing route on you they better they better not it's just a wide open um or it's a wide open interception for you it's easy picks so this is a great way to just force your opponent to have to have to work have to play bimba don't break and they're going to have to work their way up and down the field. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get my full nickel 335 wide uh, defensive guide, I also threw the bonus uh, of the dollar 326 in there. I would encourage you to get it. I think it's I think it's probably the best base overall. If you actually consider the run defense in combination with the pass defense, it's the best defense that you could get because you get the best personnel on the field, you get really good pressure from it, and you can create some of the best coverage concepts in the game. So thanks for watching these, this video. If you want to get the full defensive ebook, there's a link in the description, and you can go click that link. It'll take you right over the website, and you can get the ebook for just $15, so super affordable early in the year. So again, if you want to get that guide, just click that link in the description it'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you all squared away